And, and what makes Run Easy's technology different from traditional lab-based motion capture or video analysis apps? Yeah, I think on the high end, you have the biomechanics labs, the universities, mm. the government funded that it can pay for these really sophisticated labs. They're designed foremost for researchers, not really clinicians, although there are a few around the world that have access to this, which they're very mm. lucky to. They're also slow because, yeah, in the name of science, you have to place markers and calibrate the labs and all, all that jazz. What we've done is, in a, through our validation process, we compared ourselves to those gold standards. The other end of the continuum, we have video or just eyeballing diagnostics, as I mentioned, is for tools in clinical use, but they're also prone to error because, you, yeah, you have to position the camera in the right position, you have to get the right distance, and when you're in the pressure of a clinical scenario, it's dip difficult to replicate. It's also worth mentioning that there's recently been a, quite a, a surge in these what we call AI computer vision based apps. They're flooding the market for gait analysis and motion tracking. You can use a smartphone and there's algorithms that will spit out some nice joint angles and kinematics. But what physios need to be aware of is that these systems often lack these biomechanical validations. Many of the apps are prepackaged approximations. They're fun to play with, but it's difficult to refine your clinical reasoning with them so yeah we we bridge the gap between the two of these types of things we like to extract the the best parts of what's practical and easy to use and affordable and then on the, and then also yeah, merge that or marry that with the the science validation